After what will have seemed like an eternity of fans being away from stadiums like this, it's finally time that the COVID restrictions have been lifted and fans are able to come back to places like Hewish Park to watch Yeovil Town Football Club. We've already spoken to some of them and they've told us how much it means to them and the local community to be able to return. Uh, so Matt, the stadium has been closed for months. Finally, now it's open again to fans. Uh, how much have you missed it? Oh, it's a hell of a lot. It's, it's so great having fans back as well. It, like, no matter how many fans there are, it's just great having fans back in the stadium. The atmosphere's great. You know, the feeling's great around the ground at the moment as well. Uh, part of me, part of me's been missing. All the time I've not been here, part of me's been missing. Uh, I, I feel like whole again. Yeah. What, what do you think it means to the local community in Yeovil that the stadium's open again and fans can come back to the stadium? Huge, huge, especially with uh, the way the season's gone. Um, I think the boys need it more than anything, really. Um, just normality, it's, it's good to be back more than anything. We actually play on the Sixer side on a Sunday night. So, um, yeah, so being around the football stadium has actually been, it's been lovely to be around. But um, coming to watch a game of football is even better. So tonight's Yeovil Town Football Club match sponsored by Leisure Leagues and very uh, privileged to have been invited here by Mark Robinson uh, who has uh, a fantastic thing to present to us. I just want to say um, great job you guys are doing on the 3G. It's certainly becoming the, uh, if not the premier uh, small-sided competition league in Somerset. Um, and chuffed to be able to host that and um, honoured to be having you guys here. We've spoken to some fans on the way in who said they already play in the Leisure Leagues League uh, down on the, that 3G pitch, so already it's having a massive impact on, on the local community here in Yeovil. That's it, it's all about um, getting the guys being active. Uh, I know it's competitive, everyone, everyone still, as you get older, still thinks you can compete <laughs> and still fancy a game. Um, I think it's just brilliant to see people, good well-being, with, especially ourselves here at the club we know how important the um, good well-being and good um, good mindset is and being able to play football be competitive enjoy it professionally run getting value for money yeah I think it's imperative to the whole community and, and we're better to have it than at the heart of the community for the football you've got a uh, signed match ball yeah. and, and shirts presented at leisure leagues yeah definitely yeah. you've got, got the um, got the match ball for you guys I think uh, I think the boys in the office are looking at um, doing a competition for all the players and all the people that sign up to, to win the ball. So, great prize to have. And we've got the, um, the signed shirt as well for you. And it's, um, like I say, absolute privilege to have you here. And um, long may the partnership continue. Fantastic. Mark Robinson from Yeovil Town Football Club. Thank you very much. No, thanks a lot. Enjoy your evening. And uh, hopefully we get a Yeovil win. It's great to be back. Uh, should have won. Sending off was a bit silly. Two, was... two yellows, wasn't it? One, yeah. the, the early one for descent and the second one, I think, for the same? Uh, no, the second one, he punched the ball in the goal. So uh... <laughs> First one was never a yellow. Just kicked the ball away, frustration. We was right behind the, first, the second one. No way should have been sending off. It's foul, but no, no yellow card. I mean, when it's descent, it's just frustrating, isn't it? Oh, it was great having the crowd back. Really, really good. Um, uh, probably a bit unusual for a referee to have a crowd as well. He's, they've not had them for a while, so a bit of a warm welcome here to you as part. But yeah, I think it did, did impact them a lot, actually. Good to be back in the stadium, though. Good to see the game live with your eyes. Yeah, much better. Yeah. I've watched most of the games live streaming. Yeah. It's no, nothing, better, nothing better than being in Thatcher stand. Yeah. <laughs> And tonight's game was sponsored by Leisure Leagues, that's who we're doing the broadcast for this evening. Leisure Leagues operate uh, five and six aside football leagues here at Hewish Park. Is that something that you've considered doing just over on the training pitch there, having the stadium in the background? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we've, we've spoken about it a few times, haven't we? Well, well old bionic knee over here. But, um, but, but um, yeah, certainly something that I think I mean, it's great if we can just get people, like people haven't been able to do anything, have they, for the past? 12 months, 18 months, so getting together with your mates and doing something like that, I mean, it's perfect, isn't it? And the facilities are here, Great, yeah. so if you get the chance to get together and, you know, kick about with your mates again and sort of feel what it's like to get that normality back. Do you play football? Yeah. Do you play football here? There's a little 3G football pitch you've ever played there? I used to. Yeah? 
that we do leisurely, we do football over there. Do you, do you fancy joining a league when you're 18? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. You can play right next to Hewish Park and maybe one day go from that pitch onto that one. What do you reckon? Maybe. Maybe, definitely maybe. Fingers crossed for you, mate. I'll keep my eye out for you starting on that pitch one day. What do you think? Yeah. Good stuff. Well, thanks very much for chatting to us and uh, hopefully next time it's a win for Yeovil. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.